Welcome to 32C3. Unfortunately, this is the last time I'm going to say this. I feel honored to present you Karina and Linus with the closing event. To be fair, nobody wants to do the closing event. You want to start? <laughs> Especially not us. <laughs> so we want to recapitulate on some of the ideas that we had for this event. And the first question I would like to ask is, Who of you complied with the 621 principle? He didn't. I didn't. <laughs> but it's quite some of you. I'm proud. <laughs> so. Great. <laughs> Your little special effects just blew the show. Not much sleep. I think that's the main problem for the most of us. At least I really could use some more. And. Um, <laughs> So one of the reasons for so little sleep, which we all got, is um, that some of you really appreciated our new concept for the bathrooms and saw the possibilities in that. Thank you, please. <laughs> Toilet party! <laughs> This is something just possible if you don't have gender-based toilets. <laughs> so at this toilet party, they also had these nice glowing uh, massage sticks, I think. <laughs> it was really amazing. I hope uh, lots of you enjoyed there and partied there, at least for a little while, because it was really hot. And you know, at C3 events, there's one rule that has never been changed, and that is, before you take a picture, please ask people for consent. And for several years, years now, we have somebody here that is constantly being asked for consent to take a picture with his camera of people. And that is one of the little highlights from my end of this event. <laughs> Something which happens at congresses is this size is people lose their stuff. It's a person. Okay, that's something we didn't knew, and I think most people not, because everybody was sorting who lost his shoes. <laughs> so I want to say you if you're missing stuff. You still can go to the info desk. There's a lost and found. You can grab your stuff there. They will be there after the uh, closing event for a little while afterwards. All the stuff goes to the um, logistics area. So perhaps your friend is also there. Somebody brought him there. <laughs> but um, yeah, as we saw, uh, shoes is not the only thing which went missing. There's also this. Same person, seriously. Okay. I wouldn't recognize. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recognize. recognize. <laughs> yeah, so if you miss something, coming back to the serious part, go to the info desk and ask if they found it there. It's much easier to give it back from here than to have to ship it somewhere all through the world. 
They have some IP packets left, but you must prove that it's yours and not spoofed. <laughs> You came up with a couple of challenges. Uh, among them, a challenge to every third angel that I witnessed last night. <laughs> I think this goes without more saying. <laughs> And you remember our little challenge. We have not prepared a price because we wouldn't think that anybody would be able to print this. And the way it is, it was impossible. You see the fleeting lines somewhere and I think 3D printing is just not there yet. <laughs> but I think there's somebody in the audience that would like to present their attempt in 3D printing the logo. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Obelix. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, I need to buy you a beer or something. I really don't think anybody would be that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it took 18 hours to print that thing. <laughs> and that was the, uh, the time and effort trade-off to make it um, until seven today. So it would be here for the closing ceremony. Yeah, we brought you the whole video. <laughs> So I don't know, exists there a whole video for hum somebody who wants to enjoy the whole thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not? Oh, <clears throat> Something we also talked about at the opening was the angels. And I heard that when we showed you the logo and especially the URL, they had a peak on their web server. Very nice. In total, we had, can you give me the number? 1,350 active angels. <laughs> These angels did more than 15,000 work hours up to now. proud to say it, that we topped the number from last year, like I wished at the opening. What I learned afterwards is that already during the opening, we had topped the number from last year. <laughs> so unlucky it was not our um, nice speak which brought all of you, but already you yourself who signed up early. Very nice, and um, yes, but even if Congress comes to an end and this is a closing, it is not over, there's still a lot to clean up in the whole house. So please, if you go out here, help wherever you can. You don't need to be an angel for that, just ask where you can help, pick up stuff, collect things, there's really much to do, and everyone from us wants to finish early so that we can go to the after party tonight. One little request from the cleanup team. Please don't just help in a way that you think you're helping. <laughs> Please ask the, at, at heaven what exactly it is that you could help with. So now, we're going to do a little exercise. No, no spots. No spots, no spots. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to take 
a little mental trip. And I want you to now be totally silent. Close your eyes and lean back in your chair. I still hear noise. And now you slowly breathe in. And then breathe out. And again, breathing in and out. And in the front of your inner eye, you see the chaos. And you release the tension from your left leg, and you release the tension from your right leg. And you breathe in and out. Remember, when you first arrived at CCH and Fairy Dust was there, waiting for you. Remember, when you saw that talk, you had been waiting for all the time. Remember, when you did not get into the talk you wanted to see, had to watch a different one, and it was so awesome. Remember when you first met someone you only knew from the interwebs? Remember when you had your first tasty drink in the lounge? Remember when you were getting ready to leave, met someone, and suddenly the sun came up again? <laughs> Remember when you had two hours of sleep, one meal, and six showers. <laughs> Remember when you learned something that you thought you would never understand. Remember when you saw the joy in the eyes of a little kid that was soldiering a robot. Remember when you finally found that awesome sticker you had been searching for all day long. Remember when you saw all the cool children toys and were jealous because they were all used by children. <laughs> Remember that funny shirt this one person wore. Remember when you took an involuntary nap during a lecture. Remember all the inspiring, funny, thoughtful and nonsense conversations. <laughs> and now, please, take the feeling you have right now and keep it in your heart as an infinite source of energy. And now, we want you to release this energy, to thank everybody, not only for their work at Congress, but also throughout the years. On the count of three, let us ecstatically cheer and applaud so, loud, so loudly that let me kill Mr. Raises from the dead to complain about the fucking noise. <laughs> One. One. Two, three. Three. Zum Bima. Zum Bima. Nicht laut genug. Okay. It doesn't work that way. Now we're talking. Jetzt, 
Let's give it. Die Digitalisierung durchdringt unsere Gesellschaft und die Nutzung informationstechnischer Systeme und des Internets schreiten unaufhörlich voran. Das bietet neue Chancen, schafft Freiräume und ermöglicht Synergien. Das Netz beeinflusst unser gesamtes öffentliches und privates Leben. Über Branchengrenzen hinweg sind mehr als die Hälfte aller Unternehmen in Deutschland vom Internet abhängig. All diese Einrichtungen oder Firmen könnten gehackt werden. Und da bräuchte ich dann mal eine Krisennummer von Ihnen. Ja, und warum? Nur um da anzurufen. Ich vertraue meinem Provider nicht. Ich vertraue, ich vertraue dem Anbieter nicht. Ich vertraue dem Staat nicht. Aber ich ändere mein Verhalten nicht. Das ist definitiv gefährlich. Ich vertraue Safe Harbor nicht. Ich vertraue meinem Airbag nicht. Ich vertraue dem aus Computer Club nicht. Und ehrlich gesagt, das nenne ich sorglos. Wir sind ein attraktiver Arbeitgeber. Warum? In manchen Bereichen unseres Hauses kann man all das machen, was man schon immer machen wollte, aber man ist straflos. Zum Beispiel Telekommunikationsüberwachung. Herr Range hat eine Pressekonferenz einberufen und in der hat er gesagt, dass, dass, dass der Justizminister unerträglich in die Unabhängigkeit der Justiz eingegriffen hat. Das kann man auch übersetzen in den Satz, bitte entlassen Sie mich in den Ruhestand, Herr Justizminister. Da bräuchte ich dann mal eine Krisennummer von Ihnen. Ja, und warum? Herr, verstehen Sie bitte, dass ich darauf keine Antwort geben möchte. Warum? Ein Teil dieser Antworten würde die Bevölkerung verunsichern. Lassen Sie mich dann ein Beispiel sagen. Sie können ein sicheres Auto haben mit Airbag. Sie können äh, sich anschnallen. Sie können sich an die Verkehrsregeln halten. Wenn Sie aber trotzdem sorglos fahren, produzieren Sie einen Unfall. Und da bräuchte ich dann mal eine Krisennummer von Ihnen. Mit einem lachenden und einem weinenden Auge sage ich vielen Dank für dieses tolle Closing-Event.